Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I'm going to try something I've never ever tried before, ever, and I'm probably 125% sure. I'm not that awesome at it, but I sure did try, so this is my first, and I mean when I say first, the first bullet journal video I have ever done, and the first bullet journal post thing doodle I have ever attempted in my life but I thought I, you know I gotta try some different things so I, I want to just shake up some things a little bit shake it like a snow globe I don't know but <laughs> I wanted to go ahead and try the new bullet journal just try to give it a try you know I don't know so I've been looking at other youtubers in their bullet journals and some of them are really really pretty and the thing is i told you guys earlier in one of my videos um like how does one doodle in that video i told you i'm not a good doodler so when it comes to making little things and it's not one giant piece or it's not a certain specific character it is hard for me to doodle i don't know why i'm i'm not awesome at it it's okay i asked for i asked santa claus for a book on doodling because seriously i don't get doodling <laughs> so for december i mean i i'm pretty good at some different calligraphy type fonts so i i just kind of like tuned in those font skills that I inherited about a year ago but you know I like bullet journals because I like planners and I was completely lost without my planner because I spilled coffee all over it and completely ruined it and I have not been using it and I have been lost I have missed like so many appointments I missed a dentist appointment I missed a doctor's appointment if I don't have my planner to write down my work schedule I have literally showed up at the wrong location at my work and my boss just gets angry at me like uh you're not supposed to be here you're supposed to be in the other place and I'm just like I need my planner so I already have Santa Claus for a new planner as well with my doodle book so I'm just covering all the bases now with the bullet journal so when I was thinking about the bullet journal I thought what am I gonna put on my December layout because all bullet journal artist they all start with you know put December up at the top and then add a cute little designs and then I thought I just went way overboard with my designs because I was like I love ornaments so I like threw ornaments all over my spread and then it got to the point that I thought I'm putting too much on this page but in the end I found out that there was too much empty space so I was freaking out a little bit <laughs> but I love my favorite thing about December is putting up my Christmas trees I love Christmas trees and we have about like three in our house I don't know high five for people who have more than one Christmas tree in our house <laughs> but I you know I love Christmas trees and I love ornaments so I went ahead and I wanted to do ornaments and maybe some garland pieces and some Christmas tree leaves holly and just like I love garland especially the garland that you put up on your fireplace I love it it's my favorite thing about about December is the Christmas decorating it's so much fun and so I went ahead and I put a YouTube tracker as well because I've seen a lot of bullet journal youtubers do that and i I'm, I'm really interested in that too because i can look back when i jump into my january bullet journal and say hey this is how many subscribers i had a month ago seeing as how i only gained a thousand subscribers every month it's okay i'm not bitter <laughs> but you know it's nice to see just to, how much i have progressed in the future so I went ahead and I used Copic markers on all my little ornaments and I just wanted them to look as shiny as possible. Did you hear that Fox's, Fox News just put up that they're recalling glitter? It's ruining the environment so they're recalling glitter and that just... I know this is a rabbit trail right now, but oh my gosh, you cannot take glitter from my life. Glitter and sparkles is my favorite color. And that's what I wanted for these ornaments to look like. I wanted them to look as glitterly, glitterly, as wonderful as possible. So let's go ahead and I want to start talking about what my plans are for December. The first two weeks of December are literally the most crucial points of my month. Other than Christmas, of course, but you're probably wondering why is it like that? Because I work in an after art school program and they have their own theater company and I'm the scenic designer and scenic painter for the shows and I'm also their properties mistress. So I went ahead and I, I had these 
two shows completely planned and at the beginning of December, first and second week of December. So it's like the beginning of the first, the end of the first week of December and then the end of the second week of December. And there is Tech Week as well as running the shows. I am a back, I am the stage manager, backstage crew, everything. I'm all in one. I'm a sonographer, what can I say? So I am the stage manager for both the junior theater company and the senior theater company. So I'm back there and I'm helping with the kids because I love it. I love the adrenaline of live theater. And so that's what I had. Those were my crucial months. And I went ahead and put up what the titles of the actual plays are. So one is a magic tree house a ghost tale for Mr. Dickens, and then a Christmas carol. It's really fun. And of course, you see, I have Star Wars like right there on December 14th because that's what I'm going. <laughs> and, then I've, and then I have my art show as well. All my classes, I have taught seven classes this whole semester for fall. And we are having one ginormous art show on that Wednesday during Tech Week. So I got like one week of classes left. And then I have my ginormous art show where I get to hang up all their art and meet all the parents and show them what they've been doing that summer. It's just really fun. And plus the kids get a taste of the art world when they grow up and they're next to Bank Banksy. I don't know. <laughs> they get a taste of what an art show is like. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. And here are my goals. Be more positive, be kind, enjoy Christmas, have a success, have successful shows, read more, enjoy the season, and be courageous. As always, just jump out of my comfort zone. But yes, here we go. My first official December bullet journal. Yes, I do continue to carry this out in 2018. We'll have a January, February, blah, 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 you know, all the 12 months. And yeah, just got, got to start something new. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I did have fun with this. I mean, it's completely chaotic and not as aesthetically pleasing to the eye as the other bullet journal artists are, but I had fun and I like this little sketchbook, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you all have a wonderful start to your Christmas season. 